Hello and welcome back to the course on deep natural language processing and today we're going to talk about the types of natural language processing. So we've got two Venn diagrams here or we got a Venn diagram with two circles in it and um, we are going to look at the different areas of uh, natural language processing that are going to come up in this course. So on the left we've got natural language processing overall and this refers to the whole circle on the left. So the reason why we've called in just this green part is because that's the non-overlapping part. So we know that anything in here uh, is just natural language processing without, uh, with disregard to this second circle. But uh, natural language processing is indeed everything that is in this first circle. Then we've got on the right, deep learning. So these are all algorithms that have something to do with neural networks, uh, deep learning, uh, basically anything that's called a deep learning algorithm falls in here. They don't have to be natural language processing. They can be uh, classification. Uh, they can be anything. So they can be, that's deep learning over here. And natural language processing is any algorithm, any model that has something to do with processing of natural language uh, into uh, machine terms. And then finally, in the overlap, we have deep NLP. So these are models which have to do with natural language processing, but also which are deep learning models, which are neural network models. And um, yeah, so that's the, the part that we're going to be aiming for. But it's also very good to have a visibility of all three. Because in this course, we will be talking about uh, some models that fall just in here, and then we'll be talking about models here, and it'll be good to compare and see how the world has changed over time and why these models are often better than these models. Um, and the other thing to note here is that the size of these diagrams is not reflective of the importance or the volumes of these different fields. So uh, I just set circles of the same size simply because we want a visual representation of, of the overlap and that these fields exist. But don't uh, take the size into account. It's not to scale at all. And uh, finally, uh, there is another part, another part of this Venn diagram, uh, which uh, is very important to us. And it is this part over here, uh, a subsection of a deep NLP called sequence to sequence. So sequence to sequence models are the most cutting edge, the most powerful models that exists right now for uh, natural language processing, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So as you'll see throughout this course, we will make our way through the natural language processing side of things into deep NLP, and then we will go into sequence to sequence. It'll be a fun and exciting journey. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention is you will also notice that throughout this course, even though it's focused on chatbots, we won't be talking about just chatbots we'll be looking at different examples of um, how these models from here and from here and from here can be applied to different things because the applications are huge. We can, talk, we can apply them in uh, natural uh, in neural machine translation, we can apply them uh, in image captioning, we can apply them in uh, speech recognition, um, questions and answers, text summarization, lots and lots of models. So um, we will be looking at different ones and they will be of different types. So this map will come in handy as we go through the course and it will be popping up here and there. So I think it was very important for us to set the foundation uh, right so that now we're ready to proceed. And I can't wait to see you on the next tutorial and until then, enjoy deep and natural language processing.